Hello. Hi. How's it going? So where are we headed today? So we are headed to the uh, campus of the Scalar School of Technology here in Bangalore, and I'm super excited about that. So am I. So where is this campus? Doctors learn best. Okay, that is because they learn in hospitals, and the people who are teaching them are practitioners. That is senior doctors. So we actually borrowed a page from their book, and therefore we decided that we will build our campus where software is built. Uh, which is an IT park, and the teaching will be done by practitioners who are experienced industry professionals. Why Bangalore? I mean, the choice was obvious for us. This is the Silicon Valley of India, the land of Google's and the Amazon and and many decacons like Flipkart, Zomato, and hundreds of unicorns, right? So yeah, uh, let's go. Okay, so yeah, we are here at the main campus of Scalar School of Technology here in Electronic City, Bangalore. Like you can see there, that's the Bosch office. Uh, this is the Genpact office. Uh, with in the vicinity, 200 meter radius, we've got 3M. Uh, we've got HP. We've also got the Infosys campus close by. So yeah, a lot of MNCs around, and we are very much uh, in the heart of where the action is here in Bangalore. Uh, so uh, yeah, let me actually just show you the campus. As a student, how can I expect my day to look like in the macro campus? Firstly, ours is a residential program, which means that students stay at the micro campus together, uh, which is also the hostel. Uh, and early morning, they come over to this space, which is the campus. In these classes, uh, actually, let's take the example uh, of, let's say, someone is learning NLP, which is Natural Language Processing. So this subject will be taught to you by uh, someone called Srikanth Verma. Now, Srikant is actually an ex-Amazon engineer himself, and uh, there he was a senior machine learning scientist. After a concept is done, students move to spaces like these, uh, which is where they actually sit down and build their project. Just taking the NLP example forward, in that semester, students will actually attempt to build a Siri or an Amazon Alexa, right? So imagine the kind of practical learning that they get by doing this kind of stuff. Do we have a personalized learning concept in Scalar School of Technology? Yes, very much. I mean, that's one of the core pillars here because we strongly believe that every learner is different and therefore has their own interests and also a, a typical style of learning, right? So the first part of personalization is the concept of teaching assistants. Now, uh, at Scalar, we strongly believe in this concept of being 1% better, right? Now, 1% better means that uh, you have to develop consistency and therefore Students are given daily problem solving and uh, you know some of these problems they are able to solve on their own and some of them they need help uh, which is where the concept of teaching assistant come in and using spaces like this students sit actually with teaching assistants and solve all of their doubts right uh, that's the first one the second part is the mentoring piece where students connect one on one with industry professionals let me actually show you the space where mentoring happens oh anshuman <laughs> What a pleasant surprise. Good to see you. Actually, guys, let me introduce Anshuman. He's one of the co-founders of Scalar, which is a company that has literally transformed tech education in India and also the director of Scalar School of Technology now. Who better than you to talk about the concept of mentoring? Well, are we doing a vlog? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Mentors help give one-on-one -on -one guidance to students. So mentors are sort of like elder sibling. Um, and they come from the industry and they help the students during the program uh, identify their strengths, their weaknesses, uh, what to do to actually overcome the weaknesses and finally uh, what kind of choices to make when let's say going for internship, what to do within the internship, then what kind of choices to make when going for a job and then how to excel at whatever they're doing later on in their lives. So Anshuman, do we facilitate pure learning? Yes, uh, I mean, we believe that one of the superpowers of uh, IITs is the fact that people learn together uh, as peers and there's a very high quality of peer ecosystem. We've tried to do something similar here as well, uh, where we've been selective in getting the right set of peers. Uh, and then we make sure that as mandatory part of our pedagogy, right after every class, there is a lab session where people sit together to solve assignment and homework or build projects together. Uh, while they're assisted by, by math success managers, but because they're solving this together, it leads to a lot of transfer of knowledge. 
which is peer-to-peer -peer learning. Awesome. Uh, I mean, I was back in college, I didn't have this awesome ecosystem. So for me, like peer-to-peer -peer learning really worked out well and I really learned a lot from uh, my batchmate. And honestly, for me, it happened in the hostel, right? In the micro campus. And uh, in fact, we were just heading there. Do you want to come along with us and we can show you the micro campus as well? Sure, sure. I would love to. I would love to. Okay, so we've reached the micro campus, which is a short walk away from the main one. Uh, yeah, uh, we'll have to make a quick entry here. Thank you. That's interesting. Even you have to sign here? Yeah, I mean, look, we uh, understand that we're dealing with young adults and therefore we take security seriously. Uh, in fact, there are timing constraints uh, here beyond certain hours beyond which you can't leave the campus without permission. And yeah, there are some additional security measures that we've taken that I can just show you right now. So yeah, first of all, uh, we have separate blocks for males and females. Uh, and we've got this biometric enabled login system, which ensures further security. Thank you. Yeah, so this is the interior of the micro campus. So the rooms are this way. Let me just show you. Yeah, let's try this one. Okay, so this is how the hostel rooms look like. Uh, we've got three options, single, double and triple occupancy. Uh, like you can see here, this is a double occupancy room. There are a couple of things provided here. One is a dedicated study space, wardrobes, uh, cleaning, etc. is taken care of uh, on a daily basis. Apart from that, uh, there are features like high-speed Wi-Fi, 24 hours power backup, etc, uh, uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. Net net, I think the message is that a student has to just focus on one thing, which is their studies. There are other facilities like an attached washroom here, uh, which has uh, hot water, etc. And we also have laundry service over here. Have we considered uh, how a student's mental health is going to be looked after? We believe that in this day and age, mental health is super important. Especially that because we go through so much of stress. So hence we have one uh, mental counsellor on payroll whose responsibility is to make sure they keep monitoring all students and make sure that they, they are doing well mental health wise. Apart from that, the one-on-one -on -one mentor that everybody gets, one of their responsibilities is to, is to flag to us when somebody is going through a lot of stress or they're not able to cope up so that we can then take those remedial actions. Net that we want to make sure that people learn in the right state of mind. Uh, and hence that support. Absolutely, yeah, that's that's very important. So yeah, we've been talking a lot about learning, etc. But the campus also has a lot of fun spaces in the recreation area upstairs. So let me just take you there. Let's go. Not bad. <laughs> so yeah, welcome to the fifth floor. Uh, this is where our students come to unwind. Uh, like you can see, we have a pool table, a TT table, a carom table and a cafeteria where you can order food from. Apart from this, on the ground floor, there are spaces where you can play basketball, badminton, etc. And uh, not, to, not to miss that on weekends, we have uh, cricket and football sessions uh, at a turf close by where not just students, but even instructors and bad success managers who stay with you will be uh, playing with you and unwinding with you in some sense there. So Anshuman, why is this called a micro campus instead of a hostel? That's a very good question. Uh, primarily because of three reasons. One is, if you go around this area, you'll find a lot of these self-study spaces. Uh, this entire area has Wi-Fi access. Plan your study sessions there. That's reason number one. Reason number two, your batch success managers who are also working professionals. These are experts who help you with your assignment, homework, projects. Uh, they stay in this space, which means they keep hanging out in this area. So in case you are working, you need help, they're always here to unblock you. Um, and the third thing, we have a large co-working space here, if you see in this space, um, where you can sit in groups, you can complete your assignment, homework, projects uh, with the help of Batch Success Manager. So this is almost like a campus within a hostel, hence the name Microcamp. Considering this is a hostel, what can a student expect to eat over here? We understand nutrition is very important and I mean, I for one pay a lot of attention to, to that. 
सो वी गॉट बोथ ऑप्शन नॉर्थ इंडियन साउथ इंडियन एंड वेज नॉन वेज बोथ सो दैट पार्ट विल बी टेकिंग केयर ऑफ एंड आई पर्सनली टेस्टेड द फूड यर एंड इट्स नॉट बैड एट ऑल एंड वॉट एफ स्टूडेंट डजेंट वॉन्ट टू जस्ट ईट अनदर हॉस्टल फूड Oh yeah I mean we understand people get bored uh, with the same food so there are there is a food court literally right outside the gate which has all brands like subway etc uh, so one can always go there and there are multiple restaurants uh, in a distance of this 100 200 meters there's also by the way place here to cook your own food so you'll see microwave uh, toaster um, electric oven and all of that so in case you are somebody who likes to cook food there all the facilities here for you to be able to cook your own food I just noticed that we have an amphitheater. What's that about? So yeah, this is a space uh, which will be used both as a learning space and a fun space. Learning wise, we have this concept of uh, super mentors where uh, we uh, invite industry leaders who have proven themselves to share their wisdom, knowledge uh, with students in the space. For example, uh, Mr. Rajan Anandan who was the ex MD of Microsoft India would be here sharing knowledge with students with the best arts. Uh, Kunal Shah uh, has also agreed to be a super mentor for this program, and we have many more leaders who who will be uh, coming here to share their knowledge. Uh, apart from this, the space will also be used as a fun space uh, to screen these important matches, uh, football, cricket, etc., uh, over here using the projector here. So yeah, that's that's overall how the space will be used. Lastly, what was your mantra to sail through your college life? I would say focus on becoming one person better every day. Uh, focus on compounding. Thank you so much for the presentation. Thank you. Thank you.